Hey, you're right. Welcome to another video. If you haven't been here before, I'm Georgia Jo, and today I thought I would do my TBR video. So this month, I've kind of decided I'm just gonna choose books that I want to read rather than doing, you know, like a theme or like a jar picks my reads or whatever it might be. I've just picked some books out that I want. I want to read. So yeah. I thought at the moment we are looking at moving and I want to be able to get my TBR down to one trolley so that in the new house I can have all of the books that I've read on a proper shelf and then just have one trolley with my TBR. At the moment I do have two so I need to get it down that's why I thought I'm just going to choose books that I know or that I'm more likely to get read this month, you know? So yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so first book from my TBR is The Final Offer by Lauren Asher. So this is the third one in the Dreamland Billionaires series. And I actually read the second one, Terms and Conditions, last month in March. And I enjoyed it. I think I do really enjoy um Lauren Asher's I mean I've only I've read the fine print and terms and conditions and I enjoyed both I think they're just very easy to read romances where you know what's going to happen pretty much like you know what the ending's going to be but they're just a nice bit of like escapism you know so yeah it th follows three brothers so each brother's got their own book and they all are inheriting money from their granddad when he passed away and the granddad created this like theme park and he's like rich beyond what you can imagine and the three are meant to inherit it but he gave them all like a task to do before they could inherit the money i can't remember what the first one was in fine print because i read it like a few years ago so i can't remember what his thing was now i think maybe he had to be like he had to run the theme park or something like that i can't remember but then the second one had to find a wife and have kids before he could become ceo and inherit that sort of side of it and i'm not sure what the one in this one is i think he's got to speak to his ex-partner so this one's following callahan and i'm pretty sure the thing is that he's got to speak to his ex who's alana because it's kind of mentioned in terms and conditions so yeah i've had heard people say that have read all three that this one is the favorite it's quite a chunky book it is oh nearly 600 pages 575 pages something like that so yeah it's quite a chunky book but i have heard people say this one's the favorite out of the three so i'm very much looking forward to finishing this series and then i think i might have a look into more lauren asher books when i've cleared my tbr down a bit more and yeah so that is the first one on my april tbr and then next up we have a book that has been on my tbr for a while but i couldn't tell you a single thing about it and it is lessons in chemistry by bonnie garmus i genuinely don't know what this book is about i've absolutely no idea i know there's a program about it now i think it's a series or a film i'm not sure but i've not watched that either and yeah i've honestly not a clue <laughs> what it's about so i'm i'm think i'm gonna stick to not knowing so i can just go into it completely blind i think it's more of like a like a lip fic maybe more than anything else i don't think it's a romance um so yeah i don't know i can't tell you anything about it but i do want to read it and like i say it's been on my tbr for a while so i want to get it ticked off so that is the second one on April's TBR. And then next up we have a new fantasy series and that is These Hollow Vials by Lexi Ryan. So I've not read anything by this author before but this is a fantasy. I think it's like a uh, love triangle. I think there's someone that she like grew up with and then there's like a prince and then there's her. I think it's like a love triangle. I don't like the the two men are on the front cover but I don't think it's like a you know she dates them both type thing I think it's she needs to choose but I'm also not 100% sure so that could be a complete lie I don't know but yeah I, I'm not sure what the magic system is in this uh, if she has magic or the princes have magic or what it is I'm, I have no idea 
I know it's a fantasy and it, like I say I'm pretty sure it's a love triangle but I am looking forward to reading it. I think it's a trilogy I want to say. I feel like the third one came out recently but I also could have absolutely completely made that up so yeah I'm looking forward to starting a new series though so that is these hollow vows and then next up we have got a series that I've actually wanted to read for a while and I bought the book off Vinted because I don't know why I just didn't want to pay £10 for it because I think it's because the book's so thin I just didn't want to pay £10 but I think there's like four or five of them out now and I do want to read them all and it is before the coffee gets cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi and it is a Japanese novel that has been translated into English and I've only read one Japanese novel before that's been translated and it was uh, What You Are Looking For Is In The Library I think that's the full name and I really really enjoyed it it was just a really like lovely easy you know read that just made me feel good so I'm hoping this is giving that same kind of vibe but I've absolutely no idea but it like I say it is quite a short book I think it's yeah 210 ish pages so I'm looking forward to reading it there is a few of them out already so yeah that is the fourth one yeah fourth one on the TBR for this month and then next up we've actually got one that I have already started I started it a couple of months ago and I just seem to keep listening listening to like bits of it each month I've been listening to it on audiobook and I really really enjoy it when I'm listening to it and it's Honey and Spice by Bolu Babalola and it's set in London and I just I love listening to the, them talk the characters talk in uh, on the audiobook I uh, listen been listening to it on Spotify and yeah I really really love it I love listening to them I like hearing like things that are set in England even though I'm not from London I'm from Manchester so it's not like I can't relate to anything about London in itself but I just like hearing that it's not like an American accent you know so yeah it's a romance between like I think it's a in set in a uni something like that um so it's kind of like a college romance that type thing and she is like a radio host she talks a lot about like black women and women in general being you know not letting men sort of manipulate you that type of thing and it's just really it's but in like a it's you know it's not like a really serious book don't get me wrong but that's the kind of topic of her radio show and then this lad comes in who is you know the typical like she thinks he's just going to be a typical sort of fuck boy type thing and actually she's like oh maybe he's not and that's kind of where it goes so yeah I'm very much enjoying it I really love the characters and I'm looking forward to finishing it I think I'm like like halfway through maybe so I definitely want to get it finished this month next up again we have the last one in a series and it is Cross by Emily McIntyre so this is the last one in the Never After series i won't lie i've not massively enjoyed the series i think i've given most of the books like three stars between two and three stars and not because there's anything wrong with them at all i still think three stars is a good rating they're just very much like average romances i think and they're all sort of loosely like very very loosely based on fairy tales and I don't know I just I'm not massively vibed with any of them I don't know what this one is about I don't know what sort of fairy tale it's based on if it's even based on one I have no idea but the the big bell make, reminds me of um Hunchback and Notre Dame so I don't know if it's anything to do with that or if that's just a coincidence but yeah I have no idea what it's about I'm assuming it's a romance like the rest of them but I just want to get this series ticked off so yeah that is crossed by Emily McIntyre and then next up we have one of my favorite authors and I'm trying to read all of her books that are out at the moment I say one of my favorite authors but I've only read I think two of her books but I really really enjoyed them both so it is The Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron so I've got this this poison heart to read and then there's also i think it's called this wicked fate which i've not read which i don't have either but i want to read that one too and i think then i've read her sort of backlog but i also could completely be lying i don't know there might be a lot more books than that that i've not read um no yeah but books by kaylin bayron so i've read cinderella is dead and i really enjoyed it then there's this poison heart this wicked fate which i don't have and you're not supposed to die tonight so i want to read this one and get the next one and then i've read kaylin bayron's backlog 
but yeah i really do enjoy how she writes and have enjoyed both of the books that i've read by her so i'm looking forward to reading this one i think the main lead has some kind of superpower where she can like grow plants but she doesn't really know how to control it i think that's kind of the basics of the story but yeah i'm very much looking forward to reading this one and then next up we've got one that honestly i don't really know much about i just really love the front cover of it and it's sweet pea by cj scoose i don't know if i've said that right but i'm obsessed with this cover i think it's so cool and i think it's like a thriller one maybe so on the front it says the last person who called me sweet pea ended up dead so I think it's like she's got a sort of list of people she wants to kill. <laughs> Brianna is your average girl next door but she's hiding a killer secret, a kill list. Because the girl everyone overlooks might be able to get away with murder. So yeah I think it's a bit of like a thriller but more of maybe a not very serious. I think that's the kind of vibe. But yeah I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I think it'll break up the sort of romance fantasy books that i seem to be reading at the moment so yeah i'm looking forward to reading that one and then we've just got two left so we've got one more thriller which again is a book that i've had on my tbr for a while so i'm looking forward to getting it ticked off and it's also on kindle unlimited and it is in my dreams i hold a knife by ashley winstead so this again is a thriller six friends one college reunion one unsolved murder so i think it goes like back and forth between past tense and present tense and it's like when they were all in college someone got murdered and then they've done a reunion however many years later and it all sort of comes out i think that's sort of the general con um synopsis so yeah i'm looking forward to reading it i do like a timeline where it goes back and forth and you're learning things like as it goes i do really enjoy that usually so yeah i'm looking forward to reading this one like i say it's on kindle unlimited and sometimes you just gotta read on your kindle especially when i'm in bed so yeah that is the ninth one i think on my tbr and then last but not least is this book that won the it won i think it was waterstones book of the year maybe last year and that's what made me ended up picking it up but it is in memoriam by alice Wynn. so i think this is a historical romance between two men in the war i think that's the sort of I think I feel like I keep saying this but that's the like very basic synopsis of the book they thought they were like going to die so they ended up kissing something like that that's like probably a very minimal explanation for it but I think it's to do with that and usually I'm not a massive fan of like historical fiction like anything set like you know 100 years ago or whatever I don't know why I'm just not usually a fan of it but hopefully i enjoy this one i do like a, a romance so we'll see how it goes it also on the front says it won debut fiction prize waterstone's debut fiction prize winner so yeah i'm really looking forward to this one it's won quite a few awards so hopefully i enjoy it i also think i might have this one on my kindle too but i don't think it's on kindle unlimited i think i got it as one of the like 99p deals that they have at the beginning of the month so yeah that is the last one on april's tbr in memoriam by alice Wynn, and that is my tbr for this month i think i've got 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yeah 10 books so i've also got an awful lot of books to read <laughs> and a few more i'm hoping to read a few more than 10 books last month i did get i think it was 15 read i'm hoping maybe if i can carry on i will have quite a lot read before we end up moving so yeah that is the end of today's video i hope you did enjoy if you did and you'd like to subscribe i would really appreciate it but other than that i will see you in a bit